Hello everyone, welcome to Krakow video series. As we have completed the CAT exam and the response sheets are out, many of you have a rough idea about your percentiles, right? Good. Now we are moving to phase 2 of the CAT process. Now you might be wondering which colleges to focus on, what metrics to consider and which college is the best fit for you. So in this video, let's cover all these points and have a look at the colleges that you need to target for 70, 80, 85, 90 and 95 percentiles in CAT. Guys, we have also launched percentile predictor for IM calls. The link will be provided in the description. Please have a look at it if you haven't used the percentile predictor. So for that, firstly, let's have a look at the factors that you need to consider while selecting colleges. Now let's have a look at the general factors. So the first one is cutoff percentiles, overall and sectional cutoffs. Uh, so as you know, based on the sectional cutoffs, you will be eligible to apply for the colleges. And the second one is the placement statistics. Based on the average salary in the previous financial year, we will get an idea. And the next is the fee structure of the college. And next comes the most important factor that is ROA, which is nothing but return on investment. Now let's have a look at the individualistic factors. The first is the location. So location should not be an issue to pursue your uh, MBA. You need to be more flexible uh, to pursue your MBA. Next comes the year of setup. It gives us the history of the college and also have a look at the specialization of college, personal goals and how it is going to uh, relate it with your personal uh, career goals. And one of the important factor is experience of faculty and background. So since how many years of experience the faculty hold, everything you can have a look at it. Don't uh, get into any of the college for the sake of doing an MBA. Just have a clear goal as in uh, why do you want to do an MBA and how uh, it is going to shape your career. So before selecting any colleges, make sure that you are uh, having a look at all these factors. Now let's have a look at the colleges that you need to target based on your uh, CAT percentile and ACADs. So here we have classified all the B schools based on your ACADs. So here what is average, good and great profile. So firstly, the candidates who have 90 plus percentage in their 10th, 90 plus percentage in their uh, 12th and uh, 85 plus or 75 plus in their graduation, it is considered as a great profile. And uh, if you're also having 80 plus percentage in 10th or 80 plus in 12th and uh, 85 plus in your graduation, even that is considered as a great profile. Next coming to a uh, good profile that is uh, which is nothing but a decent profile. Next if a candidate who had scored 80 plus percentage in their 10th, 80 plus percentage in their inter and uh, 60 plus in their graduation, they are having a decent profile and anything uh, lesser than these ranges they are considered as an average profile. So now let's have a look at the colleges that you need to concentrate. So, if you are a candidate who is expecting 99 plus percentile and if you are having a great profile, then uh, you can expect call from IMA and IMB. And here, mostly I am Bangalore, they will be having a greater scope for your ACADs. And if you are a candidate who is having a good profile, that is a decent profile, then you can expect calls from IMK, IMC and IML. I am Kohikot, I am Calcutta and I am Lucknow. And if you are a person who is having an average profile, then uh, you can expect calls from some of the best institutes like FMS Delhi, SJM SOM and uh, from other IITs and new IIMs. And if you are a candidate who scored 95 plus and 99 below percentile, then you can expect calls from uh, IMK and IIM Indoor if you have a great profile. And uh, if you are having a good profile, you can expect calls from IIM Mumbai. I am Shillong, SPJMR and you can also expect from IIT Bombay and IIT Delhi. And if you have an average profile, you might get a call from MDI Gurgaon and you can also expect calls from new IIMs, baby IIMs and uh, from IITs and IISCs. If you are having a percentile range from 90 to 95 and if you are having a great profile, then you can expect calls from IMT Ghaziabad new IIMs and IITs and if you are having a good profile you can expect calls from IITs and baby IIMs and if you are uh, a candidate who is having an average profile you can expect calls from IMT, IMI, SIM, SRE, ExaMB, DSC, DFS and DBE colleges. Next comes uh, 85 to 90 percentile range. 
So if you are a candidate who is scoring above 85 and below 90, then you can concentrate on uh, Bitsom, IMT Ghaziabad, Tap Me Manipal, Poor School of Management, MICA and GYM that is the Goa Institute of Management, Goa. And uh, if you are a candidate whose percentile is above 80 and below 85, then you can concentrate on uh, colleges such as the BIM Trichy, Exam B Bhuvaneshwar, IRMA Anand, KG Somaya Mumbai, Willinka, IFMR, LIBA, that is Loyola Institute of Business Administration, and SDA Bokoni. Now let's have a look at the candidates who is scoring 70 plus percentile. You can concentrate on the colleges such as XIME, IIFM, SIBM Pune, MDA Murshidabad, NITs, MIT Nagpur and Hyderabad, IMI Kolkata, ITM Mumbai, Great Lakes, SDM IMD, BIMTEC, IFMA Graduate School of Business, UBS that is uh, University Business School and NIRMA. So guys, uh, based on your percentile range, try to apply to these colleges as uh, they will be opening their admission forms. Now let's discuss about an important uh, part that is uh, most of the people, they might be confused about uh, whether to get into any of the colleges this year or take one year for preparation again and prepare for the exam and give exam uh, next year. I know many of them who might have scored 70 plus 80 plus percentiles and mostly who graduated recently they might be a little confused whether to do their MBA now itself or take a break I mean take one year and prepare again and give CAT so for them my suggestion is if you are having a good ACADS don't rush into an MBA it is always advisable to gain significant work experience or uh, working in any startups or as an intern that would add value to you. So by gaining work experience, you will get to know how basically a company works and also you will get some time to increase your percentile where you will be working more and you can give your cat next year with a better percentile and you can concentrate some uh, best B schools. Instead of joining some mediocre MBAs uh, as a fresher, it might be risky. So it is advisable to gain some work experience and the candidates who is having a decent ACADS and working if you are not having any financial constraints you can concentrate by preparing for the next year and giving CAT next year so that you will be simultaneously gaining the experience and you will be also trying to give your best in the CAT next year. So try to list out your uh, career goals. It is always advisable for you to target your post graduation in doing a best institute. Why? Because this is your last degree. So it is advisable for you to concentrate on the top B schools. Try to target best institutes and do not rush. But if you don't want to give one more year and give your cat, you can concentrate on the colleges based on your percentiles. But if you are very systematic and if you want to pursue MBA this year, then it is advisable to select best colleges based on your percentile. So guys, work hard and give your best. So that's it for today guys. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon below. And in case of any comments, please comment in the comment section below. Thank you.